Okay, I just wanted to give you a brief video here on uh, a couple of things. One, we're going to start to use Gmail for students. So if you're a student watching this, make sure you're paying attention to how to log into your Gmail. We're also going to go ahead and uh, change your password as well. I know there's a video already on the tutorials in terms of setting up the iPad for your Bridgeton Academy Gmail. This will uh, include going to the web actually to uh, go ahead and use Gmail through the web itself. So first things first, I'm going to open up Safari here. And my screen comes up to Google. Um, but we can go ahead and go right into Gmail. So I'm going to type in gmail.com and we're just going to go to Gmail. And you're faced with a login screen. Your username you should have received already, but if you didn't, it's uh, in this particular case, it's last name dot first name and then at BristonAcademy.org. But I've got a different one here, so I'm just going to type in my student one account, and then the rest is the same for you dot at BristonAcademy.org. Your password. Uh, again, different ones for different years, but for this class, is uh, your password's given to you by the tech office during orientation. Um, in this particular case, for the class of 2013, it's students 13. Obviously, mine's a little different, so I'm going to type mine in. You can uh, click on the stay signed in if you want, but if not, that's fine either way, so you sign in. And for those of you that are signing in for the first time, you may get a, a terms and conditions screen. Scroll to the bottom of that. There'll be a CAPTCHA, which you've got to put in some characters, and then go ahead and click OK on that, and you should see the same screen that I've got. So this is a fully functioning email client. You'll notice all, I've got emails to the left, and then I can see email to the right. Um, this is more of your inbox on the left side, whereas the right you actually see the messages that are coming up You know, to, to move forward through this. Uh, I'm, I'm done here. You can use this client if you want. Again, totally fully functioned if you want to be able to do this. But let's talk about changing your password. Obviously, giving the same password to all the students, we're, we're going to hope that you come back and change the password at some point in time. I'm going to head over to Google. This may seem a little counterintuitive, but I want to make sure you're at the Google site and not the Gmail site. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to Google itself. And you'll notice one big difference up here in the top right section, you'll see where it says my, my uh, email address. So I'm still logged in, but I'm out of the Gmail function already. So again, this is to change your password for email. And I know it sounds weird to go to the Google site to do that, but that's the way the iPad version of this works. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my login name. And you'll see below, I've got my student one account, and it should say your email address there as well. I go ahead and I hit account. So it goes into my account for this email address, and I look over to the right, or I'm sorry, to the left, and there's a security link I'm going to go ahead and hit. And from there on in, you can actually see where you can change your password. So you can put in your current password and then put in a new password twice. And again, password strength is the utmost importance right here. You probably want to go with something uh, that's got a capital and a number minimally. The better passwords will have characters. Um, you know that that are within the password to make it a little bit stronger uh, similar to what you would do probably to use an at symbol for an a or maybe a, a three for an e that kind of idea or an apostrophe for an l so quick enough that'll be uh, it for right now but at least you can change your password and then the next time you go into your gmail account make sure you use a new password the other trick i would tell you is if you've already created uh, if you've already set up the iPad for email down below at the bottom and used and already triggered your Gmail account, your Bridgeton Academy account for this mail function on the iPad itself. Once you change your password, you're going to have to go into settings and your mail contacts and calendars and you'll have your Gmail account in there and you'll have to change your password uh, within this piece as well because it'll ask you to log in every time. So make sure you do that as well. Uh, the easiest probably way to do that is to delete the account and then re-add it with the new password is probably the best way to go there. Hopefully that helped. Talk to you in a bit.